Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota and welcome to my video. Today I am working on a little bit of ephemera for my Utide um, journal that I'm working on. Um, I pro it probably is not going to be a really long video. Um, I just thought I would just start. So let's see, here we have this pocket that should be fairly simple that we had cut out of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to decorate this. Um, I did put the the Yuletide um, ephemera in here so it's easier to dig through, I think. Um, so I want to find something for on here. Oh, I like that on there. I think I'm going to do that. Go ahead and ink that. So hope you guys are all doing well. I got myself a little bit of a head cold going on. So I kind of have a, you know, where your nose one side is plugged and one side just doesn't want to stop running kind of thing. <laughs> but other than that, not too bad. I was going to show you, um, so in the packaging in, in this um, Yuletide Ephemera, <clears throat> on the back it shows what's in there. And then on the front I just simply took and cut this off because I thought that would make such a pretty journal card for in here. So I cut that off and then um, we'll back it and stuff and then we'll have a really pretty journal card. So waste nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking like maybe something... Like, I don't want to go with a heavy, because we have the flannel look back here. I don't want to go with a heavy fabric or anything. I'm just wondering. Um, hold on. Maybe some text or something. I just have this. It's just a Christmas storybook. And... I just took a page out. There's a kid's book, so. But it's called The Best Christmas. <clears throat> it had a couple pages missing out of it. So, let's just go ahead and. I kind of like that jaggedy edge there. text too so just distress that a little bit <clears throat> I don't really have a plan just Getting a little bit further on it is, is I guess, the plan. <laughs> well, that's stuck now. <laughs> I'm <clears throat> not 100% sure if I like that on there now. It's, it makes it feel crooked to me. <clears throat> if we put it up a little higher. No, I like it down there. Uh, let's see. What okay, else can we add? Does that kind of balance it? Yay, nay. <laughs> Maybe we just need some more book page over there. <clears throat> what do I do with that now? I should have paid attention before I glued it down, right?
Yeah, I like that better. Okay. It just kind of balances out a little more, I think. <clears throat> I'm not going to do any stitching on this video. Um, I will go ahead and stitch around the around the pocket um, before we put it in the book. Okay, so do we like this black lace back there or no? Well, I have to get the candle straight here. I do. I think I like it on there. So we will stick it on there. Oh, let's see. There I go, leaving my cover off my glue again. <clears throat> I think I would learn, but I never do. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that side. Well, try and hold it, but... It's so weird having a new bottle of Fabri-Tac open because it's liquidier. It's not all chunky like my other ones are. <clears throat> Just can't get rid of that tickle in my throat. I made myself some tea and tried that. Otherwise, I feel okay. I just, yeah, I don't know. I didn't sleep all that well last night either, I guess, but, um, I woke up, I had a couple dreams of my mom, so that was, that was nice to be able to see her in the dreams and hear her and she was talking. And so I really like that pocket. I think that turned out really pretty, but I mean, it's so easy with these papers and their ephemera and stuff. Okay, so we'll set that one aside. <clears throat> Should we go ahead and, and work on our journal card here? I cut this. Um, to put on the back of it. Let's go ahead. I'm going to stitch around this as well, but again, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm just going to use my glue stick because I'm going to stitch it. Not the right size, probably not. It's okay, we want to cover the top there, anyways. Okay, isn't that pretty? It's so pretty, I think. It doesn't even really need anything, maybe a label or something on it, and then once we stitch around it. But looking at it now, I'm wondering if I should have rounded the corners on it, but... Well, I think just a word or something. I don't know if there was any words. I have <coughs> some words, Christmas words, and some of my other Christmas ephemera here. if we can find something that we think works with it. I like that one on there. These big labels are from Mixed Media Minnesota's um, Christmas word labels, digital. So, let's see, we'll just set these aside. I'm guessing we'll probably be using them again. I am going to um, <clears throat> trim that extra off of there. And then we'll distress it and stick it on there. And once we get it, um, Stitched around, I think it'll be good. I 
have to change the thread in my sewing machine because right now I have blue in there and I tried, I went and did some little clusters out of some of my scraps from this and I have blue in there. Blue works, but it's not exactly the color I would choose, but I have blue in there because um, <clears throat> I was sewing my son's curtains. I told y'all he moved and got an apartment and so he picked up some fabric and asked me if I would make him some curtains. So. Yeah, apparently he hung them up last night, and I don't know why I how I measured wrong, but a couple of them are a little too short, but he said they'll work. But they were um, blue and gray, striped looking, and he picked up really pretty fabric. And he um, his apartment has five windows in it only, um, one in the bedroom, one in the dining room, and then I think three in the living room. Um, but, yeah. I'm gone, but we got I got those sold for him and he hung them up. So as a mom, you know, you just worry, is he gonna get up for school? Or for not school, he's not in school anymore, but for work, is he gonna remember, you know, to lock the door? Is he gonna He did just fine. <laughs> he got himself up, he got himself to work, he texted me. So he knows his mom just sitting here worrying about him. There, that's pretty. I'm gonna grab my stencil box once because I'm gonna see if I can have any snowflakes or anything stencil. I think I, I think I might have a Christmassy one. Otherwise, I have swirls too. I'm not gonna dig, dig too long. But there's that one. Um, I don't even know if I have my Christmas ones in a different box or not. I could have. So we're just going to use that one. I'm not going to dig in here for a half hour. But I'm going to go ahead and just put some swirls on there maybe. Just kind of breaks up that white. This was one of my extra coffee dye, you know, like when you have the last little bit and it doesn't cover the pages, I think that's what that is. But yeah, I like that much better. Okay, so, so I think we're gonna call that one good. And what did I do with that pocket here? We'll keep them together so I don't lose them. Okay, what these little clusters? Should we try and find something just to add on those? And all I did is just add, like this one has coffee dye music paper, this one has craft paper. And it rolled up on me, but that's okay. And just a couple of the, you know, that's why you keep these um, branding strips because the backs of hers are all pretty. And then, you know, when you have the thinner cutoffs like this, you can, you know, just stitch them together. You can make all kinds of neat stuff you can, with fabric as well. I don't know if any of these are going to be small enough. That might even be a little bit too big, I'm not sure. I'll just give that some ink and look at it again. <laughs> Sure. <clears throat> Let's see now. I can look at these ones. I think I mostly have words in this one, but. We 
Let's see about that. Let's see. Did something like that. And there. That's the grunge up this weight a little bit. I'm going to trim this. So I did an online <clears throat> grocery order this morning. Um, my daughter will volunteer after school to pick it up for me if she has the day off. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do that. But my son, he manages um, our local grocery store in town here. And he told me that he was, um, he thinks there's going to be shortage of turkey and cranberries, that kind of thing for um, Thanksgiving. So I went ahead and ordered my turkeys and everything. So... I'm nervous about Thanksgiving this year. It's the first year we'll have Thanksgiving um, without my mom. And of course we all want to keep it all as similar. And she always made like so much. And I mean, I would help her a little bit, but it's just not going to be the same. But I'm going to give it my best shot. So <clears throat> just was going to add some stickles on here, but now I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I think it might be plugged and I'm not sure if this, oh yeah, maybe. Since they had this one all full of glue, so. My stickles are old, so. I just was going to add a little bit of color on there, but I don't know. I think I just maybe wrecked it. <laughs> we'll see. When it dries, you see a little bit of the, little bit of the red glitter. Maybe it looks like a. Preschool colored it. The preschooler colored it now. Yeah. I love the look of stickles if it works right. If it doesn't, I just. I'm impatient and. Nope. You got voted off. I wonder what if we just do pink. No, oh, that's too green. I'm struggling, guys. <clears throat> I'm just digging over here. I have a whole tub of little scraps and little pieces of different cutoffs and stuff. <clears throat> Let's just do it. Stick something on there. I think when we get this glued down, I could put a bulb pin off there. So that's why I want to leave it hang off a little bit. So that option is there if we decide to. A bulb pin with a little tag or, I don't know, something on it. Let's see, get this the right way. We're just gonna do that. Well, I just—it has to have something else. I feel like I just don't know. I'm not happy with that. So let's see. Oh, she's really cute. Um. Oh, the papers in there are really gonna go with that. Let's see, where did that pine cone that? Pine cones that we had go. <clears throat> hey, I have an idea. What about these little flowers? <clears throat> One of those might work. Yep, that's what we needed. And they're not real bulky, so that works.
So I was telling you guys, um, I was playing fantasy football with my nephews and my son and Josh and a couple other people, and I won again last week. I think I have, I think I only have two losses. <laughs> so I think it's exciting because I just love rubbing it into my nephews. It's so much fun. I mean, can you imagine being a teenage boy and your auntie beats you? There, I think that's really cute. So we're going to set that over on the, the done pile. <clears throat> and then we'll see what we got with this one. I like this vintage looking, It's I think it's a Tim Holtz thing, but they got like a little Christmas tree. It reminds me of like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> Growing up we had some, we used to go and cut our own tree down. And When you look back at pictures and in our living room we had um, big windows behind where the Christmas tree always went. And it's funny because when you look at um, pictures from years back, like you could see all the way through the tree all over, you could see the light outside and stuff. So. I think that's kind of funny. Um, and tinsel, of course, that silver stuff, you know, that if you walk by it, it all falls off. Sticks to everything. So It's really pretty, but I just do not have the patience. I don't even know if they make that stuff anymore, but I don't have the patience for it. I remember my mom would spend a long time putting it just exactly right, you know. And I didn't dare help because you just end up by clumping it on there, and then she'd just go fix it anyways. <clears throat> So when do you guys put your Christmas tree and your Christmas decorations and stuff up? You know, I wonder. Um, we do a fake Christmas tree um, here. And I now have been trying to put it up the weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, I don't, wouldn't really have to do that now anymore. When I was delivering mail, the weekends are shot. And you get so tired and then... You know, you're working so long and out in the cold that you never felt like doing it. So I always wanted to get it done earlier so I didn't have to worry about it. But now I don't have to have to worry about that. But, um, yeah, I think we're just going to do that. But I don't know. It is kind of nice to have it done. And then I'm the kind of person that the day after Christmas it's got to come down. The house has to get cleaned and everything put back, you know, to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Unclutter everything, I guess. Um, I like to have the whole house back in order before the kids go back to school and everybody's back to work and everything else. I know when we were kids, I think we left the tree up until, I think it was like January 5th or 6th, something like that. And then we could take the tree down. We didn't put it up until close to Christmas, though, when I was young, because, um, like I said, we did a real tree, so. And there's that one. And, and we can just add this on the edge of a page or in the corner. Or it can be a tuck spot. or can, There's so many different things you can do with them. And now you can't even really see the music paper, but that's okay. Okay, so then, <clears throat> let's put these flowers back over here. So then, remember this, um, and I forgot in my best, last video to link, I believe it's Natasha. I was inspired by her to make this. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm thinking about now that I probably did not link her, her video. So I will in this video. I just need to grab a sip here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this <coughs> music paper in there. It's not Christmas paper, but I like the green polka dot. I don't have to be too picky about gluing this in there because it's going to be folded up. Just kind of my backing. And I just have that in there. Uh, 
Okay. Now we can make a pocket on the end here. I'm not going to sew, like I said. So this goes like this. And then on the back sides, I don't think I'm going to put pockets on the end. Um, I'm just going to put coffee dyed paper on here. Once I have it here, let's go ahead and do the back first. And then we can think about that pocket. Because um, I, I need to for sure decide if I'm going to close it up or leave it open for a pocket. But... <clears throat> Let's do that. Uh, where'd you go? Here you are. The papers in this journal are so pretty that you don't want to cover, you know, like the blue fern papers. You don't want to cover them up to make journaling spots. So we add journaling spots in here, you know, wherever, wherever I can add writing spots like this you can still see the green you're not covering any you know pretty design up or anything else and then you have writing spot so and so that's maybe why i should leave the ends open and put tags in there but this is going to be sewn in the middle of the signature and i don't want it to be very very bulky so that's kind of another reason why i was leaning towards closing it up Okay, let's see. I got that on there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and close the ends um, because, like I said, I don't want it to get too bulky and we can put tags in here and tuck stuff in there. So let's go ahead and I will stitch lace on the end, but I'm just going to glue. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just to hold it here. Well, time to open my new art glitter glue too. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that one down. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one too. Okay. Okay, so that means we will glue this one down. And this one as well. Okay. So there we have our pockets in there. I'm going to try and... I should have done this before I glued it in there, but I, I really want to add some inking in that center crease there. So... Close that glue up. <clears throat> okay, better. Okay. Yeah, that'll be just fine once we stitch our lace on the edge here and we can stamp on here or something too. And we have our stamps. Should we go ahead and just add? These are Blue Fern stamps. Um, Blue Fern Studio. Let's see what they're called. Um, Christmas greetings. And let's see, we're just going to use our black stays on ink. <clears throat> now, I haven't used these stamps yet. So I don't know. I don't have a scrap paper here to prime it or anything. Well, my glue book, I guess we could use. Okay, yeah, that's, my ink is, I have a new one here, this one needs to get, hold on one second. Much better. <laughs> okay, now let's see, this goes this way. Uh oh. Well, 
That's okay. That's my own fault. <laughs> And then I was thinking on the other side we could just do sort of postcard one. The back of my thing here is all sticky and gross, so it wants to stick to my mat. I'm going to try to stamp that off. Well, not the best, but it'll do. If you can tell, I'm not used to new ink. <laughs> okay, so. We might come back in and cover that a little bit, I'm not sure. But it's okay too, it looks messy, it's fine. Alright, so now we need to make tags and stuff. And we have all these cutoffs here. I don't even have a clue how long this video has been or anything. This we wanted to make into a journal card, so I'm not going to cut that. They're so pretty, I just have to make a decision here. That's pretty too. Um, let's see, I want, what do we want this way to tuck in there? Okay, so I'm just gonna, let's see if I have a pen here somewhere, I should, but I probably don't. Well, we have charcoal pen. <laughs> I guess that'll work, right? Okay, so I want, that to be about right there. And where is my little chopper now? Okay, and the other side I'm guessing is going to be similar. I cut that right under that little red line. So you can journal on the back of these and we can decorate on the front. Let's see, if we put this one in here, you get to see all that pretty and here you can see the pretty pine cones. Or we could do them, no, I think in here. Okay, so I'm going to round the corners on these. <clears throat> if I can find my whole corner rounder real quick. corner punch has seen better days. I don't know if I can sharpen it. Maybe a tin foil or something. I don't know. It's a little on the dull side. But this is really nice thick paper too. So, Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to distress those. Isn't that pretty? I love that sweater look on there. Okay. This ink is about shot too. I need to re-inker it. My glues are all shot, my inks are all drying up. Oh man, I need to just go through and restock my things that I use every day here. Okay, let's... You know what I have over here? I know it's not the re-inker, but I have this Distress Stain Vintage Photo. We're just going to attempt that really quick. See what happens. I'm gonna probably put way too much on there I'm guessing. Got ink. Ugh. 
I don't know what I did to my arm. That's been there for a few days. I'm assuming I bumped it helping my son, maybe. Now let's see. It's probably going to be really dark. It worked. a little bit here. Okay, so oh, that side's Okay. Okay, well, this here is going to be in here. Or no, did we decide this way? I think I like it like that, and then let's see those little pine cones up there. I think we want a little fabric or some kind of a little thing on the end of it. You know what? Let's go ahead and I don't know if this is going to be the best idea, but I don't even know. <coughs> We're gonna we're gonna give it a European tag punch. Eyeball that. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just ink around there. I was thinking we could tie some string and I thought it would look neat on there, and it, which it does, but I'm just wondering now if, nope, they're going in there. Let's decorate them up. Okay, so that one's going to go this way, and this one's going to go this way. So let's see here. We don't want too bulky, so we're big. I don't like the blue on there. Not a fan of the blue. Or this one. I mean, it looks neat on the other ones, but. That's really pretty. Okay, I think I like those on there. But this would be really pretty on the front here too, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like that on there. So, I'm not so sure about that one. Let's just add that on there with let's see. That's too thick. Well let's use <clears throat> maybe some more of our black. Let's see. Let me grab a fabric scissor here. Not doing it. Okay. Back to the book page. The top here says the best Christmas. But we'll cover that up. That. 
just didn't want them to be really bulky, so. Okay. I want to see a little bit of that red snowflake there. Just hook it over here really quick. I just don't want to miss it. We're going to go ahead and add a little strip of this fabric. And then our pine cone. I'm going to work on, um, I'm going to make a fabric flip and a belly band and stuff, and then <clears throat> then we'll come back when I have some more ephemera made and we'll put it all together. So I need to stitch lace on the edge of the signature pages and that kind of thing too, so. But there, I think that's cute. So there we have that one. And I'm going to find some string or a ribbon or something for those as well. Okay. I have this little piece laying here. I think let's just put it on there somewhere, huh? It says Christmas. But we needed to find what we wanted to put on that one, didn't we? Let's just put her on there. And her Christmas carols. Now which way is the right way? That looks like looks like the right way there. Some of my favorite pieces sometimes are, um, when I just don't think about it, I just start gluing stuff. Sometimes they end up with... with my favorite ones. A little bit of glue up here. I don't even think it needs to have a word or anything. And like I said, when we get our string on there, and if I decide to stitch around these ones or not, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink this. I really like this one on that, on the green. Okay. 
this and coffee dyed music paper always works to back behind things I think that or book page that works as well So I was at a thrift store, um, this was a little while back, and I was so excited to find, I found a really big um, old music book, and it was just the music, it didn't have the words, you know, so it, it just had the music notes and stuff. I put it upside down now, but that's okay. But that was a fun find. Okay. Let's go ahead and glue that on there. I need to do some more coffee dyeing and tea dyeing. I'm almost out of out of all of it. When I do that, it takes days because I do tons of it and pile everything under. So I see a couple days of that in my near future for sure. Go ahead and put some of this opposite up in the corner. So what are you guys' plans for Thanksgiving? Are you staying home, going to families, traveling? <clears throat> Got any big plans? Are you doing Black Friday shopping? I don't even know if they're having that. Are they having that this year? I haven't really heard a lot about it. I've went a couple years, but it's just too crazy for me usually. Well, I keep you out of here. I would prefer to just pay a higher price, I think, than deal with all the craziness. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, where is that other little pine cone? Oh, here's one. We could put them on there because we can still tuck something behind there. So you could still tuck back there. So I think I feel like we need some red. Maybe yeah, I like that on there. I have no idea why I just keep using my fabric tac because it's sitting here, I guess, and it's it's new. It's not plugged. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do here is. Stick that on there and then wipe the back. Okay, we're going to ink this. Okay, do we want some fabric back there? Or lace, rather, I guess. Here's some of this. Yeah, I'll give it a try and see what we think. Maybe down here, or do we want it up here? I was thinking to balance it, but it's going to be a... Oh, no, it isn't. It's going to be in the center. So, right, okay. 
we're gonna have tags and stuff in here so maybe we will go ahead and put this down here I think we're gonna stick on there <laughs> it's funny the new fabric the fabric tack when it's new like when it's a, what it's supposed to be like is like wetter so I'm so used to mine is all clunky and gunky that once you touch it it's like stuck forever okay now we need tags in there let's see if we can find some tags I'm just going to cut this in half and we're going to use this, I believe. Let's see. Um, how big? This should be 12, I think, inches. No, it's 11, so five and a half. I'm just going to mark it so I can use my little trimmer here. So we could write on this side and this side. Well, let's just see. Let's make them into tags. And then we'll decide. I don't think we're going to have time to decorate these tags here. I, th I don't know. I forgot to look what time I started, but otherwise my I have problems with uploading them if they get to be too long. So after we put these in there, I think we might have to call it a video. And then we can come back and I might work on some of it and then come back and put it all in there or finish up some more. <clears throat> But I want to see what, because I want to make a snippet strip too that matches this, because it'd be fun to, you know, put those on the top. And then we can also, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe not this piece, but you can also put some, you know, different ephemera in there and things. So well, that would be fun. But we'll see. Okay, so there we have that. And like I said, I'm probably going to get a, some lace on here and then come back with some book page or something. I, I'm, not, I'm just not too happy with it. It's my own stamping abilities. <laughs> because I was in a hurry to do it. So let's see. Let's... I, I, sh I messed it up myself. So. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But that's cute on there. Let's go ahead and put that on there. And we can do the same thing with the other side. You can still see part of it. Yeah. 
I mean, it would be fine, too. But... Just... Get those on there, and then we'll call this a video. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of here. And we have a journal card to decorate yet too there and see what we've done. So we have the center one which has the tags obviously that we just did and these in there. And that one. Okay, and then the back. And like I said, I want to make snippet strips. I think they'd be fun to top with them because they'll stick out of the center and the top. And then, what else did we do? We had done... Oh, I gotta reach them. I set them way out of the way. So we did that. We did a little cluster. And another little cluster. A pocket. I gotta stitch around some of this stuff yet. And the journal card out of the ephemera packaging. So there we have a start to our Yuletide journal ephemera. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.